Welcome back to the channel, I'm at the Groundhopper channel and today I'm at a club where they've just literally overnight been served with an embargo for unpaid money to the HMRC. I think the club's up for sale, they've already had four points deducted in the bottom four of League One and of course I'm talking about Reading and I've been to this ground before, about 20 years ago, when I watched Gillingham away to Reading in what was then Division One, where the Championship is now on a very cold Tuesday night. But today they're playing, they're at home to Burton Albion, and it's the first time, my first visit to this ground for this channel. So this will be ground number 44 of my 160, which will now be on the screen. But say so Reading, it's not going too good for them at the moment. They you know, they, they might even have more points deducted, who knows? I think the owner wants to sell the club. And they're just a club on the downward spiral. When the ground itself, the Majeski Stadium, Majeski Stadium, how do you pronounce this? Majeski Stadium, <laughs> I can't say it. That was about 24,000, um, very modern, ultra sort of, ultra modern merely, sort of Premier League ground, but you know, they could end up being the League 2 club next season. So, yeah, um, it's about an hour to kick off. I'm going to go and get, get some lunch and have a walk around. But we're home to Burton, Burton Albion, who are a much smaller club. They're just above the relegation zone. So it'll be interesting to see today what the, the crowd's reaction is like and if there are any protests. But I'm literally it's here. Brown is just behind me there. And I'm going to walk around and I'll see you outside the ground. I've had a good look around the outside. So first impressions are pretty decent. Loads of places to eat. But lots of eateries, Italian burgers, hot dogs, Chinese, all sorts of bits and pieces going on around outside the ground. So that's a good choice. Um, we'll grab some lunch. So that's a tick in the box. But for me, a big cross in the box is I popped into the, um, the club shop and the replica shirt, 55 pound for a shirt. A league one club, I mean, come on. I don't know if it's them that sets the prices or it's the, the kit manufacturer, but £55 for a replica shirt is just nuts, you know. So there's no way it should be that price, but hey ho, we are where we are in the modern world. But anyway, nice ground, quite a few people mingle about. It seems to be quite a decent atmosphere. There's no unrest as of yet with the fans, but um, yeah, it's quite nice actually. It's very modern looking, similar to other grounds, but I'm gonna work my way through through gate eight and I'm gonna go and find my seat. See you inside. Ground, found my seat on the very back row. Great view from up here. Um, it's proper steep walking up them stairs. It's like it's, it's steep, so it's a bit like a mountain goat walking up to the top. But it's um, 
very nice ground, very impressive. So I've been there before. I don't remember much about it, to be fair, but the pitch is looking in immaculate condition, and the players are out all up now. So it's about 20 minutes for kickoff. Um, yes, yeah, it's, um, it's time to liven up.
Instagram, everyone was searched. Like, like they search your body, pack you down. So I don't quite know that everyone got all these tennis balls into the ground, if I'm being honest. But, but they got me in. I just got chucked onto that pitch. But So I've got back out now. So just have a quick warm up and we're going to resume. Um, we lost, we've only played about 10 minutes, but we're nearly half hour in. So there's going to be a lot of injury time. I haven't had any time added on in the first half, but still nil nil. Uh, but a few chances for Reading and. Um, yeah, here we go again, so part two of the first half. Half time was nil nil, played 12 minutes of any time in the first half. Um, both teams not great up front, that'd be nice. You tell the both here in the bottom of the league. So, whether we're going to get any goals second half, fingers crossed. Um, it's still nil nil. But just move out of the stadium. I mean, so, this stadium's been since 1998, so it's 25 years old, and it's in really good condition. Like, it's almost like it could have been built like a couple of years ago. So, it's well made Spain. Um, it doesn't feel like it's 25 years old. Great modern, but yes, yeah, so I'm impressed with this. Um, it's, I don't remember much about it when I was here 20 years ago, but it's a um, very nice ground, um, pretty good facilities. And a few more minutes for the second half. And let's have a look at what the price of Coca Mars is. Wow, so there we go, end of the game, and it ended in nil-nil. But, besides there being no goals, it's a pretty eventful day. Up at the <laughs> with Reading, with all the protests, and, you know, very, very unhappy fans. Um, out the two, Reading were definitely the better team. Um, I think Burton were pretty woeful up front. I mean, I wasn't impressed at all with Burton. They just didn't look like they was going to score at all, really. But, I think Reading, I think they'll be safe this year, because even if they do get more points deductions... Which could happen. We got we go on their tax status with the HMRC. I think it's some pretty pretty poor teams in League One this year. You've got sort of Burton and Fleetwood and Cheltenham who are, as of yet I don't think they've even scored a league goal and we're nearly in October. So I think they're certainty for relegation. So purely I think Reading might survive purely because there's a lot <laughs> a lot poorer teams below them or within that division. 
But overall though, um, good day. Um, you know, I don't like seeing protests at grounds, if I'm being honest, but I understand why they're upset. There's, there's a lot going on at this club, hence why I'm here today. But if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button, uh, like and comment. Drop a comment, let me know what the feelings are. We go on, you Reading fans. Thanks for getting to the end. And I will see you at the next game, which will probably be next week. But thanks for watching and bye for now.